welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today I'm going to be doing my weekly favorites. I skipped last week because I did my monthly favorites kind of in the middle of the week before and I didn't want to seem just too repetitive so I am doing my weekly favorites today. I do have a fail flop somewhat but uh, I do have quite a few favorites so I want to just go ahead and get started but before we get started this is not necessarily a favorite because I just put this on for the first time today but it's my lipstick I just wanted to mention it because um, a lot of you ask me right away what's on my lips so the I, what I'm wearing is one of the Too Faced melted lipsticks in the color melted fuchsia that's what I have on my lips because I'm going really casual today with my makeup and I've got my less is more giant sweater on so I thought you know what might as well just do something special with my lips because I'm in a really like um, one of my moods you guys know I get into one of those moods where I want a really minimal minimal eye makeup and just really focusing on the skin and I don't know if you can see but the ski my skin is looking really luminous and um, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's looking really luminous, and I just love the this, there we go, I just love this face that I've got going on, these have been like some of my favorite products all together, so I figured I might as well wear it so that you can see what they all look like together. The first thing I want to talk about, and I don't, I don't think I talked about these, I know I showed you these in the haul, but I don't think I, and I did a whole foundation routine using this, this is the Estee Lauder Enlighten EE Cream. I love this, love this, love this. If you want a really light coverage yet luminous finish, yet your skin just looks like skin, but so much better finish to your skin, <laughs> then this is a product for you. It's really light coverage. Like I mentioned, it's very similar coverage to the uh, MAC Face and Body Foundation, except the consistency is so much better. I don't like the MAC Face and Body because it's so liquidy. This one's got really great consistency. They do have a quite a heavy scent, but it's a really nice scent, so it doesn't really bother me at all. And I find that once I put it on my skin, I don't smell it whatsoever, but it does smell really, really good. But the only drawback to this is that I feel like there's no color between light and medium. The light is really, 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 really light, and the medium is quite a bit darker um, and there's really no color in between so I had to buy both light and medium to make them work um, otherwise they wouldn't work at all because this would be too dark this would be way too light but I do think that the medium is gonna look perfect in the summertime so love this and then on top of it so what I've been doing is I've been doing more medium a little less light to make my my little concoction um, but I just I gear towards a little more bronzy like a little bit darker with the medium than too light if that makes any sense so to kind of even things out the powder I'd be using for it is the Lorac Perfection um, powder baked perfecting powder in light I really really love this I also like to set my under eyes with this powder it's fantastic but I've been setting my whole it's quite heavy I've been I've been setting my whole face with it and you guys know I mostly use powders just to lightly brush it onto the skin like one of these I don't do, like I don't buff them in to give me any extra coverage or anything. I just kind of do something like this just to set the liquid foundation underneath because I do think that it just helps with longevity. So I've been using that to set my skin and it just gives you such a lovely subtle glow to the skin without looking cakey, without looking heavy. I've really been liking it a lot. So that's been what I've been setting on my uh, setting my face makeup with. But then under my eyes, I saw my friend Kristen uh, mention this, and she mentioned that she uses this to set on, to set her concealer with. And I did have it recently. Picked this up. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in a Reserve Your Cabana, and it's clearly not a bronzer. It's meant to be like a highlight, but it's really not. It's really not a highlight. It's more like a really glowy face powder than a highlighter. So what I've been doing is I've been setting my under eyes with it, setting my under eye concealer because I do have quite dry under eyes, especially in the colder months. And this has just been giving them a little more life, if that makes any sense. Really love that. I haven't used um, my NARS powder. I've only used it once or twice uh, in the past couple weeks, but I've used mostly this and I love it. For bronzers, for most, I should say, for most of my uh, non-contouring days, this is a bronzer I've been going to. If you want a sun-kissed look to your skin, this is the bronzer for you. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural by MAC and Give Me Sun, and this is what I'm wearing today. Just to 
give my skin some color and give it a little bit of definition and it is this really is something that will make you look sun-kissed it almost makes you look sun-kissed with just a hint of sunburn if that makes any sense and I love that look I know it's not I don't I don't wish to get sunburned when I'm out in the sun but you get what I'm saying like when you've been out in the sun for a really long time and you come in and you've got like a I get really bronzy really quickly I get red for like a day or two when I first uh, start going in the sun in the summertime but then after that initial red I just it turns it turns into tan it turns into like a bronze uh, like a bronze from then on so when you first come in after you've been out in the sun for the first time in the summer you've got like that little bit of red under your I just love that look I think it's so innocent such a pretty flush of color and um, I don't know I just love this and this is what I'm wearing today is my bronzer and then for blush I showed this in, to, in my recent um, tutorial I neglected this palette and this is all I've been wearing this is the only blushes I've been wearing for almost two weeks now and I'm beyond in love I'm wearing this today I'm wearing those two blushes these two right here which is pink grapefruit and golden apricot I've been wearing these two together I just kind of like I do one of these things really precise mix them together and then pop them onto the cheek and it is like the most and I haven't been using a highlighter either because those two are um, have quite a bit, a bit of a sheen to them and it just gives you the most beautiful color like you've been just I don't know it's like a really healthy glowy look to the skin and I think that that's perfect and, and that's what I like so um, I don't know if Ulta still sell this, sells this I know that this was I don't think this was a limited edition thing it, I bought it about a year ago from Ulta so you should definitely check into it if you don't can't find it at Ulta I would suggest eBay or check the Laura Geller website first because this is a Laura Geller by the way it's called baby cakes baked blush palette should have probably told you the whole name um, but check Laura Geller's website and if you can't find it there and I would check Amazon and then eBay it's awesome absolutely let me do a couple swatches for you this is the apricot glow and this is the pink grapefruit and it's kind of sad that you can't really see how pretty they are pink grapefruit and apricot they don't show up on your finger it's one of those blushes that just magically shows up on your brush but not on your fingers so there's that and then um, I wanted to share with you an eye base and I love these I have I think all of them this is Laura Mercier eye basics in the color buff I'm wearing this under my I think I'm wearing sin today from urban decay just lightly swept over my eyes but this is the base I've been wearing what I really love about this is that it's a great base for a lot of like neutral colors but it's also really pretty worn alone it's got a little bit of coverage it's what it looks like right there see it and then when you sheer it out it's um it gives a really pretty sheen to the eye I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I love this and I have all of them but this is one of my favorites and um, it looks really good alone so if you're doing like a five minute makeup and you need to rush out the door that would be perfect for you I think you'd really like that and then I have two lip products I could not leave this out this is the hourglass liquid lipstick I guess in the color icon I wore this in my latest tutorial and it's so funny because I picture I posted the picture of of, the, of myself with wearing that look on Instagram and quite a few people said um, something about it being photoshopped because my lips look so big and first of all I don't photoshop that's no, no. if I did I'd photoshop all the wrinkles out of my pictures but I don't um, and it's so funny because I thought about something my mom used to say years ago she would say that when you wear a red lipstick, when you wear a good red lipstick and you take your time applying it, hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, she'd say in Italian, so I'm trying to translate it in English in my head. And what she used to say with red lips is that red lips should not be something you kind of slap on with like a chapstick. You just really need to take your time and uh, make sure that, you know, your lipstick, make sure that your lips are perfectly outlined you get the point point is this makes your lips just look incredible and I think it's because it's also a matte finish um, I just really you need to get your hands on this it's probably my favorite red of all time and the fact that it, it, it finishes to a matte you know it dries to a matte finish it's like yay because I love matte lipsticks so love that enough said 
enough said about that one. And the next lipstick I wanted to talk about, and I think I might do like a little review on these. You'll have to let me know if you if you want that. But I purchased recently purchased the Gerard Cosmetics. Um, a couple of the lipsticks, three lipsticks and two lip glosses. And the lipstick I've been wearing the most is the color Nude, of course. I mean, why even bother? I've never met a, I don't think I ever met a, a nude lipstick I didn't like. I, it's just my favorite. So this is the nude right here. It's a beautiful um, peachy nude, I'd say. It's a peachy nude. I love it. Now, I could probably talk more about it in my review, but, um, is it anything extraordinary? No, but I like it. So, if you've been thinking about it, I think you'd like the color nude if you like nude lipsticks. And then, the last things I want to talk about are a couple of flops. And, I don't know how I feel about this. Let me see here for a second. So, I have been an owner of Sigma brushes for years. I think I got my, I ordered a big set maybe three years ago, and uh, I've ordered a I have a couple of the fi uh, flat top kabuki brushes. I have a, you know, whatever. But I wanted to order a couple new brushes. Not really new. I wanted to uh, order another E40 and another E35 because I use these all the time and I love this. So when I got them, I was really disappointed to see that they are completely different than how they used to be. The hairs are completely different. This is really, you see the difference between the E40, this is the original E40 I had, and then this is the new one. It's like, I tried to use it, that's why it looks dirty. But do you see how fluffy this is? And this is really not. This just seems, the hairs feel completely different. I don't even know how to really describe it. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, look how fluffy this is and look how thin this is. Do you see that? It's a weird shape too. And I'm really disappointed because the prices went up and uh, I really love my E40 brush a lot and I really wanted to get a bag up but it's not the same. It doesn't work the same at all. It doesn't look the same. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't blend stuff out like this one does. This one's a champ. This one is like such a good, this is like the OG of blending blushes. For me, I love it so much. But um, this is a little bit disappointing that the new one's different. I'm hoping that maybe with time, things will be different and it will maybe work, I don't know. I don't know, it's just strange. I also got another one of the E20, E35, and look, it's the same thing. This is the original one, this one, and this is the new one. And you can see, it's just, the feeling of the hair is just, it's just completely different in my opinion. But I'm hoping that once I start using it more and more, then it'll kind of, I don't know, mold. I know I'm being ridiculous, but wanted to mention that, but I did want to talk about the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki, this funky little guy. See, it's got like, it's kind of like sliced off on both sides. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I find that it's very difficult to blend my foundation. They say it's supposed to be easy to like get here, and I get that, but I can get into any nook and cranny using my regular F, um, F80 Flat Top Kabuki. I don't really see the point of this. It doesn't buff, my, buff out my foundation the way I like it to. It's just really not my favorite. I don't like it at all. I'm probably going to go to my sister. She would love it because she's she likes anything. I'm a bit more picky when it comes to um, makeup products, but she likes anything. But I wanted to just put that out there because I know I mentioned in the vlog, on my vlog that I on my vlog channel, I mentioned <laughs> that I was ordering some Sigma brushes and someone said that I should let you know how I like this particular one. and. Just not a fan. Just not a fan of this one. I'm gonna stick to my F80. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is my hair, and I will be doing a full like hair care routine slash how do I cut my hair video because I recently got it cut and I'm looking in the viewfinder to make sure I'm still in focus because my camera died and I had to reboot it about a minute ago. And um, I just, I got it cut. I got a lot of layers put back in and I'm gonna be doing a full video on that because I have a lot of questions about my hair care routine and how I keep it so shiny and so healthy. So I'll definitely do a video on that this coming week. And uh, I just love it. I feel like myself again. I feel like my hair has so much body and bounce and um, that's just what I prefer. I think one layer, one length hair is just not for me. Um, just not for me. So I did get a cut. Anyway, I'll talk about that in my video. I'm like chit-chatting away today. I'm in a very casual mood, and uh, it's kind of like when I do my favorites videos, it's kind of like chit-chatting with a friend, and it feels so good. So I wanted to just 
say hi and I hope you had a great weekend. Thank you for all the wonderful feedback on my latest makeup tutorial. Those are always kind of something that I'm nervous to film because everybody's taste in makeup is different, but I appreciate all your kind, 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 kind words and um, you're just wonderful and I'm so happy to have you here sharing, you know, my love of all things girly with you. So I'm going to leave it at that and uh, yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you guys want to see next week and uh, I will see you soon. Have a great rest of your week. See you soon. Bye.